Hi y'all, Ayla here. I'm going to finally do the unmolding of the um, lemon and orange peel soap that I made several days ago. A little close-up of it. This white stuff is ash. That's just something that happens. It washes off. It's not a problem. It did get a bit warm. It cracked right there. I realized several hours after the fact that I forgot to do something to the soap. When you put soap in a mold, when you first pour it in, you need to tamp it to get air bubbles up. I didn't do that. Totally forgot. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how many air bubbles might be in this. I've already done a little pull inside to make sure it was ready to be unmolded, and it is. And it's already, oh, it's coming up really nice. Which is good. At least it was on that side. This side's being stubborn. There we go. Okay. So there's the mold. I'll scrape out all these little bits and I'll add them to. I've got a old um, bottle of um, like Dawn dish soap that was empty, and I just put the little bits in and I put some distilled water in and I shake it up and I use that as hand soap. It's my way of making liquid hand soap. It is an ugly brown because it is a mixture of just little bits of all the soaps I make. But this is the bottom of the soap. That's the top. And what I'll do is I'll just run this under water or maybe just scrape it. Since there's so little, I'll probably just scrape it off. And so that, that lie, I mean, not that lie. There is no lie left in this, the ash. After about three days, there's no lie left in the soap. Um, but if anybody tells you they make soap without lie, they're lying. That's an old joke in soap making. Um, now I'm just using my soap cutter and I'm cutting the edges off. And I get all the way through. There we go. There's a, a slab of it. Oh, okay, y'all. <laughs> it smells really good. Oh, yes. I've been smelling the orange, of course, because I'd spilt all that orange. Oh, I still can't believe I did that. But now I'm smelling the lemon as well. Oh, it's so yummy. But I love lemon. I have always loved lemon. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is uh, it's still very soft. I mean, it's ready to be cut, but it's still very soft inside. These are going to be the bars that I actually sell. These guys, some will be sample bits. Um, some will be for me to keep. I'm just going to cut the end off of each one. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, you may be noticing, I don't know, that I am not talking about how this soap will exfoliate or, or whatever, because those are cosmetic claims or medical claims or something like that. You know, they are claims. In the United States, as long as you make no claims about your soap other than it will get you clean, like soap, um, as long as you don't make any claims like it will exfoliate or it will help with eczema or you know, anything like that. If you make any of those claims, this stops being soap and becomes a cosmetic. That's a whole nother world of licensing and all sorts of other um, taxations and everything. Don't want to go there. So now I'm going to weigh this. That should just turn off on me. Hello. Well, okay, this is my new one, and I'm, just, I'm really not liking this one. Okay, well, never mind. We'll use the old standby. <laughs> I keep this one for moments like this. This is actually just a, a non-electric scale, food scale, that I got at Walmart or maybe Target. I don't remember where I got it. I just put it back to zero. I have, I have nothing on my hair, which is driving me nuts. Um, I have, what do I have? Three pounds, almost exactly three pounds of soap here. And so I like.
like to cut bigger bars. Um, so I'm trying to think. If I do three pounds, or rather if it's three pounds, I need so five, ten, fifteen, three, six. So I could get nine bars out of this. But I like even numbers, so I'm going to go for eight bars. I normally have a ruler, but my ruler has vanished. So I can find the exact middle of this. Amazingly, oh gosh, it smells so good. Um, I just breathed in. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I'm not seeing air bubbles, air, air, little air pockets in here, which is really, really impressive. Um, so that's each half. So I'm going to try for four or for eight bars. I think how soft this is. I might. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to go for bigger bars. I'm going to do these in thirds. I really like to do bigger bars. Um, oh, yes. You can then, you know, if anybody wants to buy them, they can cut them in half. And I have a friend who does that. He, he cuts my bars in half. <laughs> and, you know, saves one for later. So there's three. Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna do that. Just make these six bars. And when I get done here, I'll measure these. Sometimes I'll take these bits, these extra bits, and I'll um, mold them into um, soap balls. I like soap balls. I usually have one on my bathroom sink. All right now, I have a bar. A bar of, um, oh, what is it? It's a mixture of African black soap and, oh, I can't remember what the other thing in the soap is. But okay, so I've got six bars. They are quite soft, um, which is why I decided to cut them big because they will lose weight as they dry, they will lose water weight. And so I didn't really want the idea of cutting a five ounce bar and then have it be three ounces when it dries. This is a really small bar then. So this one is, this one is eight ounces. And I'm just gonna stick it over here on the drying rack. Almost to eight ounces, like 7.9. <laughs> okay, it's about 7.9. Eight. This is a big one. Yeah, it's a little over eight. And that's eight. And that is how I cut my soap. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you all have a good day. Bye-bye. And don't forget, I will be doing a, I will be redoing my drawing. I do now have everybody's name of everybody who entered YouTube and I. <clears throat> I have some unpleasant words for YouTube because that really made me mad. There were several people who entered that I didn't get the message that they'd entered. But I have them all now, so we will be redoing the drawing. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.